the first word that comes to mind uh, when I think of Kevin Foster is Maverick. Uh, he's just a total free spirit, always thinking up these crazy ideas and then going and doing them. You know, he had a dream and, 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 and he, you know, he did it. It's kind of a pioneer. It's adventurer, dreamer, um, no limits, uh, uh, willing to sort of go way above and beyond. It's, it's got a drive and that's, I think that's, it doesn't, it never really fades. 22 years ago, Kevin was nearly electrocuted. When I opened that door, I let out a scream. All the flesh was gone down to the bone. He spent years of physical rehabilitation on a bicycle. And by 1972, I was on a bicycle with training wheels, and that's when I saw Nixon and Mao in China on the Great Wall. We must recognize that the government of the People's Republic of China and the government of the United States have had great differences. We will have differences in the future. But what we must do is to find a way to see that we can have differences without being enemies in war. And right then and there, I said, I would love to take a bicycle on top of that wall and ride that wall. We would be the first person ever to try it. He spent more than half of his life trying to get permission. A week before we were out to leave in 1987, I was hit by a truck, had a concussion. And I've always seen it, the bicycle, as, as a symbol of peace. The people can get together and let's share and do this journey together. When Mao, when Mao said, if a man fails to reach the top of the wall, then he is not a man. So they were looking at this tour, at this Great Wall Tour, as uh, something that can unite China and the United States together in peace and friendship. So this keep, that keeps me going, because I'm going to go right to the shore, right to the end, and show him, then proven that I have become a man. An historical bike ride across the Great Wall of China. His ride will cover a distance of approximately 2,000 miles at altitudes that range from 16,000 feet at the start of the trek all the way to down around sea level at the end. We spent the last five and a half weeks bicycling along the Great Wall. There were some life-threatening moments. He was caught in a storm. He had to crawl along part of the wall, a part just 12 inches wide. But now there's only one thing on Kevin's mind. Um, I want a burrito, I want McDonald's, I want pizza. When you have an adventure, um, there's a discovery part of it that is really, that's part of cycling. So Kevin riding the Great Wall of China, when he did, um, to be that first guy to do that, that's really a cool, cool thing to have in your life. It's been the most, uh, the most incredible experience I've ever had or will ever have. And for the rest of my life, any time that I see photos of this wall, it'll be different because I'll be saying, I was on that wall. I rode that wall. And so it was like turning a tragedy into triumph. Yeah, it changed my life. You know, the, the, that trip changed my life. And I had other plans but they were diverted because of, of, of this and receiving the Cyclist of the Year Award and, uh, and it just changed my life. And If there was a postscript that I hope might be written with regard to this trip, we came in peace for all mankind.